and a Suffolk County police officer who was shot on the job last week is now out of the hospital. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan was there as family and colleagues cheered him on. One of our heroes, police officer Michael LaFauci, is coming home. Salutes and cheers from hundreds of well wishers honoring Suffolk officer Michael LaFauci, his fiance, and 17 month old daughter at his side as he left Stony Brook University Hospital in a wheelchair. We're blessed. We're just blessed. We're good. We're here and we're smiling, and he's on his way home. Among those giving their colleague a hero's greeting, the officers and medics who were with LaFauci May 11th in quorum when police say a known armed robbery suspect shot the undercover officer. Officer in the thigh, inches from major arteries and organs. I didn't have a tourniquet with me, so I took off my pants belt and I tied it around his leg. Immediately pulled up on scene, put the tourniquet on, just you know, kind of went right back to my training. I need to get him from from this scene to the hospital at alive. Bleeding wasn't wasn't controlled at that point, so applying the second tourniquet. A nine millimeter hollow point bullet that is designed to do maximal damage as it tears, rips, pulls tissue went through him and we're discharging him today. In the past decade, Dr. Voswinkel has operated on and saved the lives of seven Suffolk County police officers severely injured in the line of duty. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a frustration. I have an anger that somebody shot one of my police officers. This is a dangerous job. One of the most difficult occupations in the country. Oh, it's emotional, you know? I've been emotional this entire time. Officer LaFauci's right leg is partially paralyzed, and due to other complications, intense physical therapy lies ahead. Mike's a warrior. It hits you hard. From Stony Brook, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. The 20 year old suspect who police say is an admitted gang member is being held without bail.